I've got another quick LBQ summer mystery quilt update before the first clue is released. So first of all, my mom saw the last summer mystery quilt video and she casually asked, um, so if I bought the fabric, would you make me one too? And I think she thought I was going to say no, but I said yes. <laughs> as long as she did the best press, which is probably my least favorite part. Before I reveal the rest of her fabric though, I want to point out a couple highlights from Edita's summer mystery quilt video that she uploaded last Friday. It sounds like we're going to be doing a fair bit of strip piecing, and I don't think we did any last year. I can't remember any, at least. So don't forget to prep your fabric with starch or best press, something like that, whatever your preferred medium is. I'm personally going to be using a ton of Mary Ellen's best press, probably an excessive amount. Ugh. I like to buy in bulk. <laughs> That's a lot of best press. Edita also said that the theme of this mystery quilt is nothing is as it seems. I have no idea what that means. I don't know what to expect at all, but I'm very excited to find out. The last thing I want to mention is Edita dropped some clues about why we have so much fabric, um, and she suggested that it might have something to do with backing or binding. But of course, she was very cryptic about it. It is a mystery quilt after all, so she didn't want to give too much away, but I'm thinking maybe a, a pieced backing panel, a pieced binding, um, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave a link in the description below because it's a great video, it's worth a watch. She reveals a ton of information, <laughs> she lets a lot of things slip, and she does a sort of mini doll quilt trunk show type thing at the end, and I love mini quilts, so check that out. You won't regret it. Okay, now for the color palette. We went to our local quilt shop, and Mom was feeling sort of batiky, and she stuck with that. We thought we were going to do purples, but we ended up going with a pink and sort of raspberry color palette. We're trying to pay special attention to getting several different shades. And for the contrasting color, she chose this teal. It's a little more blue than green, but I think it's really going to pop. And then for her background fabric, she's had these jelly rolls in her stash for a while now. And hopefully, if we're doing a lot of strip piecing, this will come in handy. We'll be able to use that. But you know, since it's a mystery quilt, I, we really don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm cautiously optimistic, but if all else fails, we'll just make an emergency trip to the fabric store. <laughs> 